this is a Mrs. Kill. First of all, all right, sir. Let me say this now. This unbeaten, I did not know this. As you know, I saw you on Monday, and I said I was coming back next week because I want to talk about North Carolina. Okay, no problem. But because you had the problem with your little your sewing thing, you couldn't. You know, we know what I'm talking about. Anyway, so I went to. I was at. Anyway, problem is I have to leave on Friday, so I didn't know that when I was talking to you. Because I'm a dud in the head, you know. I don't remember all these things. Anyway, so I found out I had to. So I have to. I had to do this today because I leave on Friday. But I remember, remember we was trying to get your your needle right, threader. Right. So I got one in this little kit here. So we're gonna we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna give it. But unbeknownst to me, I walk in here now. You know what this is now, don't you? Yes. You know yes. what this is now, right? It's a birthday gift. Today's your birthday. How come I didn't know? <laughs> this is a birthday. I gave a birthday gift. I didn't even know I was giving a birthday gift. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Happy birthday! Now I know I'm doing some ungentlemanly thing. First of all, I have a, I have my hat on in your house. I know this old school. I'm supposed to no problem. Are you, I can do that. Okay, great. There's no problem. No problem. No problem. I'm not vain. It's not like I bore a head. I just I just like the hat. And my wife made this hat. She, she it's a double she side. She made it. Yeah, it's a double side. She's an Af she's you know I'm married to a South African and she she she's a designer. You see, so it has two that, it has two sides. Isn't that awesome? So now that I have like a green shirt on, I use more of the green side. See like that, but there's well, a lot. There's a lot of creative my. people. In the, there's a lot of creative people on this planet. So, Miss Kill, wait a second. Now I have to ask you the next ungentlemanly thing. You don't have to answer because you know I know you. You you're like old school. Like I like to say, like for me, people say, "Well, you old school." I said, "No, no, I'm ancient school." You know, like oh, that. <laughs> uh, it's your birthday. Well, when were you born? What <laughs> and where were you born? Let me I was born in Scotland, North Carolina. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Down where they grow peanuts, cotton, corn, soybeans, all of that stuff. Mm -hmm. Yes. How many? And uh, how many people were in your? Uh, how many brothers and sisters, sisters do you have? I have three sisters. Mm -hmm. One died in '06, mm -hmm. and two living in Chicago. Chicago. I'm passing through Chicago in a couple of days. I'm going yes. Next week. Okay. Don't worry, I won't look them up. I'm too. I'm, I'm just passing through. But but but, but go ahead. And, and well, just your, just sisters, just sisters, no brothers. Well, what what did your daddy have to say about that? You have to ask him at my mom. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you have. That's who you have to ask about that. Uh -huh. So so how, where's this Scotland, North Carolina? I mean, Scotland I neck. Scotland Neck. It is. Okay. Highway 125 Route going 120. south. Uh -huh. And you go through a, you go to Muffetsboro, Enfield, North Carolina. Mm -hmm. And you'll be in Scotland Neck, North Carolina, headed toward Rocky Mountain and going on up that way. So is the western side of the state? Mm -mm -mm. The northwest? It's the flat middle. The middle. Yeah. Okay. I, you know, let me tell you. I'm a city slicker. You know, I grew up in the South Bronx. Grew up in the biggest time, New York City. What's the biggest city <laughs> that's close to in North Carolina? What's the bigger city? To where I live. Was was Scotland next? Is what's the Rocky Mountain, North Carolina? And what's the next biggest one that's close? Uh, well, Rocky Mountain is kind of kind of big, Raleigh. Okay. Okay, I have to look at the map now. I'm still, I'm still lost, but that's all right. So, what did you do, brother? We have in in all the sisters. Where do you fit? The, the... I am the oldest. Oh, okay, all right. I'm so, the oldest. So that means that now you're here. Does that mean that right now in your family you're you're like the big mama? You know everything. I, I, no, I don't know everything. <laughs> I mean, in the family, you're supposed to have all the family secrets. No, you're yeah, just... supposed to know what the family secrets. I guess. <laughs> the one that 18 months younger than I am mm -hmm. is in Chicago mm -hmm. in assisted living. Mm -hmm. She's uh, having a little mental issue. Mm -hmm. But we talk every night at 10 o'clock because oh. my baby sister in Chicago uh, does a 10 o'clock family call, my daughter, mm -hmm. and then Eva... And her name, Betty is the one who calls. Betty is 10 years younger than I am. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, you were just on, on the phone with your grandson. 
Yes. He was wishing you happy birthday. Yes. But he has a son. Yes. That makes you a, a, a great grandmother, no? Yes, yes, yes. Proud. Can't wait to to hold him. I held him one time. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And he was an infant that time. Mm -hmm. I was in Raleigh. So I haven't been back to Raleigh since. Oh, you're in Raleigh, North, North Carolina? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. How far, okay, let me, I'll try it this way. How far is Raleigh from Scotland Neck? About three and a half hours. Okay, so it's not, okay, all right, I, I understand. So let's go back. Well, I mean, from here. Oh, from here, but from, from, yeah. from Raleigh from, from Scotland Neck, how long is that? About two hours, I guess. Two hours, that's still, that's still whatever it is. Okay, now let, let's go back to Scotland's Neck. I'm, I'm still, when you were eight years old, what was happening in Scotland's Neck? That's what, when let's, let's I was in. eight years old, I was living on a farm that raised tobacco, cotton, peanuts, soybean, cucumbers, a, a whole farm, just mm -hmm. farm. When you say he's living on the farm, did you own the farm? How many people? Yes, my oh, did. dad owned the farm. Mm -hmm. When we lived about a half a mile back in mm -hmm. the woods, like, mm -hmm. and when my dad was carrying us, we moved from my granddad's house, who was right near the school. He was carrying us to our new home. We thought we were going somewhere. <laughs> my sister next to me talks about that all the time. We got saw that unpainted house <laughs> and ragged the house. But anyway, it was ours. And Dad was so proud because he bought that farm. How, how, how did he make? How did he make? Uh, how did he make the money to buy the farm? He he was uh, he and his brother did railroad for a while. Did you, you mean they made the they, they, he, made, they worked on the railroad like the tracks or on, on the trains or what did they they build it what did they I don't um, know what they they, they, just, they did they did they, railroad man they uh yeah you know they did something with the company railroad company okay so now you now you're in your daddy's house yeah well, your house. You're in the family's house now. Yeah. The, well, the, this is the one that, that eventually had all of the, the soybeans and the peanuts yes. and the cucumbers and whatever have you. So when did you start working? Working. <laughs> That's what children are on farms for, right? To work. When did you start working the farm? <laughs> as soon as I got knee high to a duck when I was about six years old. Uh, uh, uh. On a farm, you don't have any Starting day, you start when they carry you out of the field mm -hmm. behind them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, no, in fact, let me skip because I, I'm I gotta go. Like I said, when I come back the end of December, maybe for a few days, and well, some January, maybe I have another time to talk to you. But let's skip right to the chase. Now you're on the farm, you're, you're picking this, and you're doing that, but you you are known as basically a musician. How did you get the musical skills, the musical chops? Because you. Because I went to college. I had a cousin who was supervisor of elementary teachers in Scotland Neck. Mm -hmm. And so she introduced me to Winston-Salem State University. It was Winston-Salem State College then. Mm -hmm. Well, my mama came from a family of teachers and whatnot. Mm -hmm. My mama's family went to Elizabeth City when they didn't have to go to, but two years to become mm -hmm. a teacher. Mm -hmm. So, but my dad was always that Scotland Neck farmer. Okay, let's just go back to this and you didn't just all of a sudden uh, uh, was picking some some whatever you was picking and all of a sudden started playing the piano. How did you start playing the piano is my question. Because I went to Winston say Oh, well, you, you, no. Oh, you just went, you started no. with college and then you, just, you jumped on the piano no. and started playing, no? Is that what you my, my, <laughs> my first grade teacher. Aha. Uh -huh. So you were like Sam seven years said, old. 
Sam Ted Elementary School. Mm -hmm. Taught, started teaching me when I was about 10 years old. Oh, 10, okay. When I came from college one day to visit her, you mm -hmm. know, when I was home, she still had level one music book on her piano. Mm -hmm. That's as far as she was going. But by accident she left it or did she do it on purpose? Or you don't know? What? Left the music book. No, mm -hmm. she was playing it. Uh -huh. She never got very high. But she knew enough music to teach me. Okay, she taught. Mm -hmm. She taught me at Sam's Head Elementary School. Okay. And so I never never had any professional music until I got to college. Okay. When I went to Winston Salem with the Norfolk Virginia students and everything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I was the only student in the music class. Went there with <laughs> going to major in music. Never had any professional music or anything. Mm -hmm. I struck the only C I ever had in my life was C in music theory at Winston Salem State University. But you 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 can read a music sheet and all that stuff right now. But that's oh, where you, yeah. that, that's where you learned how to read that's music. How, well, I learned how to read there. Well, uh, again, the, the piano just appeared. You, I well, know the, uh, the teacher gave you somebody gave you uh, piano lessons in uh, in, in Scotland's Neck, right? You get my lessons. mama had one of these organs that you. Uh huh. <laughs> but she had in the house. Uh huh. The organ. One of these. One of these old fashioned organs that you had to pump the, the uh -huh. pedal. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, she had it in the house. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So, so you was banging on the organ before you was banging oh, on the yeah. piano? Mm -hmm. <laughs> sure was. Okay, so now you're in Winston Salem. You're the only, now you're, you're majoring in music, you're getting to see in music. But you're, you're, what, 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 you're nobody, everybody else was advanced of you? Or oh, what? yeah. Very much advanced. Because they have been taking music all their life. Yeah. In Norfolk, you know, they okay, had yeah. music yeah, in yeah. high school, in uh -huh. elementary school. Okay, then the, the, then we, then the question is begged, but how would, you, how would they say that? You know, well, how did you fare? I mean, how, what did you do to, to, to beat up all I these other people? I never got another C. That's what I'm saying. How did this, how did this happen? Because you you I used my brain. You just studied, you just hit, you just hit it. You hit the books. But, but you had to hit the piano, too. Yes, I hit everything that the music, that that course, uh -uh. you know, whatever it demanded. But that was, the, that was the first year you was there? The first year out of four years? Or what? So for the next three years or the next two, three and a half years, you still was in, I, want to say, I don't know how to say this because I don't know how the program went, but you still in competition with these people that were far more advanced than you when you started. I caught up with them. That's what I'm saying. That's what, work with me, Mrs. Keel. Work with me on this. Yes, I know that. I'm trying to figure out how do you start at zero. They were starting at 40 or at 60. And how to, in, in the space of a very short period of time, you zoomed up to like 80. They were still at because 70. Because I, I was in the books mm -hmm. day and, and night. I caught up with them, honey. I caught up with them my first year at Winston Salem State. Were, were they impressed? Were people jealous? What was going on with that? Oh, they were impressed. Oh, yes. Okay. Oh, so do you? So all of a sudden, like like most musicians, you were accepted into some circles. Of they... course, because I was on the honor roll, my first semester. Uh huh. Uh huh. I got on the honor roll and stayed honor roll. Mm -hmm. Graduated with honors, mm -hmm. wore the little collar around my graduation. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I'm not going to keep you long, especially it's your birthday. People will be calling and stuff like that. I guess I have one more question. I'm always lying about this, but just let's go with it, right? <laughs> <laughs> and that is, what inspired you to, I guess, because you you've taught you've taught many a generations here oh, in, yes. in, in, in 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 Chesapeake. That means a lot of people have pointed, including my wife, why I knew it, including my niece at a very young age. So, what inspired you to 
to do this, to say, no, nah, my, my future, I don't want to be no concert piano. Well, obviously, you're not saying that. But, you know, my future is to, to, to have legacy to teach generations. Well, when I, when I graduated from college mm -hmm. as a music major, I had to teach 11, 10, 11, 12th grade students. Mm -hmm. I did that for three years. I said I will never teach another 10th, 12th, 12th grade student. Just because they have I a went discipline. and got certified in elementary education, uh -huh. primary education. Uh -huh. And that's where I got my master's uh -huh. in primary education. Uh -huh. now, the, how did Taught that... first grade 33 years. So first grade, was that seven years old? Eight years old? How, how old is first grade? What's the age? Six. Six. Oh, I see. So you were saying those 11 and 12 years old, those 10 years old, you was, you was, you did, you 12th were, grade, 11 and 12th graders. Yeah, well, how old? I don't know what the age is. That's seven, seven, 16, eight, 17. 16, 18. Yeah. They, they were a waste. They like, forget yeah, them. Yeah. You'd rather do. Oh, <laughs> yes, yes, <laughs> yes. Don't give me yeah. those grown folks anymore. Well, they think they're grown. After, after seven years but, old, after nine years, they think they're grown. But now, mm. they are wonderful people because I teach them. I, well, I put on uh, my email, I give free piano lessons now. Mm. And some of those older people who parents made them take music early mm -hmm. didn't do it. Now they go to school and wish they had and when I put it that I would give free piano lessons. They are coming back now. To really? Me. Yeah. I had an 84 year old uh, the first year of the pandemic. Mm -hmm. She was graduate math retired math teacher here in Chesapeake. Mm -hmm. She came and took piano for a year with me. Mm. And she learned to play three or four songs, and then she, she exited. Mm. But I, I was so impressed with mm. her mm. because as a math teacher, you know, she was, she was real good at the rhythm and everything. Well, I hate to burst your bubble, but to me, math is music and music is math. So I don't find it some sort of quantum leap with an 84-year-old math genius or math person becoming a musical prodigy. Under Mrs. Keel, once again. Well, she had, she, and look, she had never had a piano. Mm -hmm. She said her family never had a piano in the house. It didn't occur. Where right. she grew up. Okay, well, let, let's let's hopefully that's that's one of many stories you can you can you, you can share with you can share with me. But once again, thanks for allowing me to be in your house with my hat on. And uh, and uh, thank you for allowing me to give you a gift on your birthday that didn't even know was going to be a gift on your birthday. My goodness, it's amazing. Yes. yes. <laughs> okay, I'll talk to you later. Well, will you be mm -hmm. second Sunday in uh, uh, January? No, second next Sunday. No, I'll be in Canada then. You. I'm telling you, I'm we're having hand. this at my church second Sunday. I got you. I'm, 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 I'm hanging greens. I got you. December 11th. I understand. That's why I can't be a part of a church because I'm always moving. I'm slick here, out there, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, I'll talk to you again. You take care. <laughs>